Dreams Around the World, Takashi Owaki. Dear reader, my name is Takashi, and I am a photographer who lives in Tokyo, Japan. Over the course of three years, I traveled to 55 countries on six different continents. During my travels, I met many children and asked them the same question. What do you want to be when you grow up? Of course, I heard a lot of different answers. In this book, I have included the dreams of 13 children, along with my stories of meeting each child. I hope you learn a little about each of them while also discovering that you have things in common, despite coming from very different places. Most importantly, I hope you're inspired to think about your own dreams. Enjoy, Takashi Owaki. Senegal, Toba. Name, Meng. Age, five. Meng's dream is to be a dancer. I meet Meng on the day of the Islamic festival known as Tabaski. On this special day, the young girls have their hair braided by their mothers or older sisters and dress up. After dinner, they visit houses in the neighborhood to receive candy and small monetary gifts. Meng dreams of being a dancer because dancing makes her happy. Dancing. A baobab tree in Toba. Meng with her cousins. Uganda, Tororo. Name, Emma. Age, eight. Emma's dream is to be a taxi driver. I meet Emma at an airfield where children are playing soccer. The airfield sits in the shadow of Tororo Rock. Most of the children dream of being either taxi drivers or soccer players. Taxi drivers drive minibuses called Matatu. Emma draws a matatu that shares the colors of the Ugandan flag. The airfield near Tororo Rock. Emma with his siblings. Taking a walk through Tororo. Philippines, Manila. Name, Angelica. Age six. Angelica's dream is to be a doctor. I meet Angelica on a hot, sunny day in the Las Piñas neighborhood of Manila. She and her friends are energetically playing in an alleyway covered with graffiti. They play hide and seek, dance in a circle, and draw pictures. Angelica dreams of being a doctor so she can help those in need. Playing hide and seek. Friends. Dancing. Malaysia, Malacca. Name, Udaya Kumar. Age six. Udaya Kumar's dream is to be a pilot. I meet Udaya Kumar at an Indian restaurant his father runs. His father moved to Malaysia from India 20 years ago. The restaurant specializes in dishes made with the large leaves of bananas. While Udaya Kumar's sister, Nandini, helps their mother at the cash register, he tries to get a restaurant employee to play with him. Udaya Kumar dreams of becoming a pilot so he can visit many countries. Udaya Kumar with his family. Indian food with banana leaves. Having fun with the staff. China, Tianjin. Name, Ang. Age seven. Ang's dream is to be a Kung Fu master. I meet Ang in a public square where he is practicing Kung Fu with a group of kids. They are diligently following instructions from their teacher, a former gymnast. They work on their flexibility and strength and practice poses. Ang is a serious student and his poses are very good. The older girls in the class think he is cute. 
Aang dreams of being a kung fu master like Bruce Lee. Striking a pose. Aang's kung fu class. And another pose. United Kingdom, London. Name, Cosmo. Age, four. Cosmo's dream is to be a house builder. I meet Cosmo in Regent's Park, a royal park that was founded by Henry VIII. He and his brother are playing in a large hammock strung between two trees. Cosmo and his family visit the park daily. Cosmo especially likes to play in the treehouse near the lake. He dreams of being a house builder so he can build a tree house of his own. Cosmo with his family. Playing in the hammock. Climbing to the tree house. Poland, Gliwice. Name, Roxanka, left, and Emilia, right. Age six. Roxanka's dream is to be a princess. Emilia's dream is to be a ballerina. I meet Roxanka and Emilia at a ballet school located in the center of the beautiful city of Gliwice. Poland is the proud birthplace of the composer Frédéric Chopin, so classical music and ballet are a part of everyday life here. Children learn to dance from an early age, including Roxanka and Emilia two prima ballerinas. Discussing a ballet technique. Roxanka and Emilia's classmates. Finland, Vaxi. Name, Sarah. Age, seven. Sarah's dream is to be a jockey. I meet Sarah in a quiet suburb that is located on Lake Payene the second largest lake in Finland. She and her siblings are playing in front of the new house built by their father. Sarah and her family are planning to go for a bike ride around the lake later in the afternoon. Sarah dreams of being a jockey and loves when her father takes her horseback riding. Sarah with her mother. A view of Lake Payene. Getting ready for a bike ride. Russia, Moscow. Name, Yolka. Age, seven. Yolka's dream is to be a writer. I meet Yolka at the hostel where her mother works. She comes here every day after school. Yolka dreams of being a writer in New York. She once lived in the United States and speaks English very well. When I ask her why she would like to live in New York, she replies, America is friendly, and their president is a good leader. Hanging out at the hostel. Getting a ride from mom. Yolka with her grandmother. Mexico, Oaxaca. Name, Armando. Age eight. Armando's dream is to be a clown. I meet Armando at the traveling circus that his family helps run. They perform throughout Mexico all year long. Today, the big top is being pitched. Armando has the important job of taking care of the llamas and donkeys. Armando is very nimble and would make a good tightrope walker. He dreams of being a clown so he can make people laugh. Clowning around. The big top. Cartwheel. Haiti, Port-au-Prince. Name, Rafaela. Age eight. Rafaela's dream is to be a police officer. I meet Rafaela at a street stand where she is helping her mother sell sausages. Though Rafaela's family shares a small home with two other families, they are very happy. Rafaela likes fashion and enjoys changing her outfit a few times a day. She dreams of being a police officer so she can clean up the streets of her unsafe city. 
Rafaela's mother and neighbors. A street in Port-au-Prince. Friends. Argentina, Buenos Aires. Name, Diego. Age, five. Diego's dream is to be a gelato shop owner. I meet Diego in San Telmo, one of the oldest neighborhoods in Buenos Aires. He has just finished kindergarten for the day and meets his father and brother, Matisse, outside of the school. Diego's curly hair brings to mind the composer, Johann Sebastian Bach. Diego dreams of owning a gelato shop so he can eat a lot of his favorite treat. School's out. Diego with his family. Hanging out after school. Brazil. Sao Gonçalo do Sapucai. Name, Ryan. Age eight. Ryan's dream is to be a teacher. I meet Ryan at her grandfather's house. She and many of her relatives are getting ready to parade in a festival. The men and boys play the drums while the women and girls dance the samba, a traditional dance. They show their national pride by wearing matching uniforms that are the colors of the Brazilian flag. Ryan is a good samba dancer. Drum practice. Ryan with her sister and cousins. Samba dancing 